Reactors, I just got back from seeing John Wick Chapter 4, and man, oh man, was this a phenomenal, phenomenal movie. It's time to reel it in. Yeah. Man, I had a blast with this movie. The story is really good. This cast is amazing. The action, you know the action with these John Wick films are great. But in this film, I think this movie achieved something great. And when I say great, I'm not exaggerating. I think this is the greatest action, action movie of all time. No kidding. God, man, the set pieces were amazing. The cinematography in this film, every shot feels like you could just plaster it on a poster. The way this film is shot, the way the fight scenes are choreographed, oh my God, my jaw was on the floor. I mean, the lady next to me was going crazy. She was having a blast. I was having a blast. This whole theater was amped and having a great time, man. I want to tell you guys straight to it. That's why I'm getting straight to it by saying that this movie is phenomenal. Speaking on the thing that gets you wanting to go to the theaters, the action. The action with these John Wick films have just peaked. The action in cinema has just peaked with John Wick Chapter 4. Oh my god, there are so many fight scenes. There are countless bodies being dropped all throughout these fight scenes. This man, John Wick, had to have killed at least well over 100, maybe below 200 in that range, maybe around 150. So if I want to go off the top of my head with this franchise as a whole, probably 300 plus, uh, maybe, you know, underneath 400. Countless bodies are spread out throughout this film. Oh my God, so many fight scenes. You've seen the trailers. Oh my God, the trailers give you what you want. And that's the action, and the action does not disappoint. So many fight scenes, so many fight scenes that are constantly being replayed in my head as I was coming back here to film this review. Oh my, you had the club fight scene, which is amazing. Uh, you see it in the trailer where the rain is just pouring down on John Wick and he's absolutely taking out people with either a knife, a gun, a machete, an axe, just everything in that club fight scene is spectacular. Then you got the car fight scene where he's driving in that gigantic circle, drifting, shooting people. Uh, the passenger door is missing, so as the driver's door is missing too as well. Next thing you know, he's out of the car, taking out people with the guns, throwing people on cars. People are getting hit by cars. He's getting hit by cars. Then you got the dog taking out people through throughout this movie. The dog was fantastic. But in this scene, the dog was jumping on top of cars and taking out even more people. But that car fight scene, oh my God, I was just like, what am I witnessing here? What am I watching here? It's, it's amazing. It's absolutely amazing. And then there's not just only that fight scene. Mind you, there's plenty of other fight scenes. I'm not gonna spoil this movie. No spoilers at all with this review. But everything I'm talking about is in the trailers. You get a scene where it's an overhead shot. It feels like you're playing in a video game in an actual video game. It's a one take shot. And that one take shot lasts about a good five minutes. Just overhead watching John Wick go to work, taking out people, dropping them. I mean, he's got this gun. It's absolutely blowing people to smithereens. It's insane. I was just like, I was speechless. I had my hands like this. And I was just like, I was in shock. I was like, I've never seen this before. The only time I've seen this is in like video games. It was like I was playing as John Wick. Oh my God, the overhead shot was, oh my God, the overhead shot was amazing. Then not only that, you get the staircase fight scene, which you've seen throughout the trailer. Holy hell, the staircase fight scene just might be my favorite fight scene. It was crazy. Throughout this movie, I'm like, yeah, that's my favorite fight scene. And then they outdo the fight scene that I just watched. And I'm like, oh my God, no, this is my favorite fight scene. No, this one's my favorite. Yeah, nothing's topping this. And then you get the staircase fight scene. That is my favorite. 
oh my god, I felt exhausted. Exhausted, in a good way. I felt exhausted for John Wick. Because throughout this film, this man is constantly fighting. I feel like out of breath, tired. I'm like, dude, he has yet to take a break. Like, this man is tired. Every scene, he's fighting. I mean, my God. John Wick in this film doesn't say as much. Uh, but when he does talk, it's a little bit, but it means a lot. That's why I love John Wick. And I wouldn't be surprised if, in total, this man, John Wick, said less than 100 words because he doesn't speak as much. But wow, does he let his fight scenes do the talking? Oh my God, man. This film is phenomenal, man. I had a blast watching this film. That staircase fight scene is something I will never forget. And it just kept going. That's the thing with these fight scenes. You think it's going to end? No, it keeps on going. I would have to say with this movie, or any movie, when you talk about an action-filled movie and you say it's non-stop action, no. From now on, when you want to say that a certain movie is non-stop action, you must compare it to this movie. This movie is the definition of non-stop action. From literally the beginning to the very end. My God. This man John Wick fights the whole time. I think in total, out of this movie that clocks in at 2 hours and 45 minutes, it feels like 3 hours. I'll talk about that runtime in a little bit. But overall, I think in this close to 3 hour runtime, this man John Wick has less than 15 minutes to just you know, talk with someone, to just sit, just to either relax, to gather himself. The rest is him fighting. Amen. Speaking on the runtime, this movie clocks in under three hours. The runtime did not bother me here. I enjoyed this movie through and through. Um, some movies clock in at, you know, close to three hours and they do bother me. But here, when I am that zoned in, that focused on the story, the action, the characters I'll have a blast no matter what and that is what John Wick chapter 4 did for me this cast is great you got a lot of characters in this film and they all have their very own motive and I love that it gives them so much depth have you given any thought to where this ends a few characters I want to talk about, starting off with Donnie Yen playing as Kane. He's blind in this movie, just like he was blind in Rogue One, a Star Wars story. He is great in here. Oh my god, his action scenes are phenomenal. He's one of my favorite characters throughout this film, and I would not be surprised if they want to do, you know, a spinoff with Donnie Yen. I would totally support that. So many characters in this film can have a spinoff, and I think people will love that. What about you, Mr. Vic? I'm going to kill you. Oh, for better, of course, yeah. <laughs> Next, you got Scott Atkins. He plays this gigantic big dude in this film. You saw him in the trailer saying, the Baba Yaga. His fight scenes in this movie absolutely shocked me because this man's doing high kicks in a fat suit. I had my jaw on the floor, but he's great here too. Next, Bill Skarsgård plays the villain in this film. He is phenomenal. Every scene that he's in, he steals the show. And not only that, this man has incredible drip. I mean, he is looking fly throughout this film. Then you got Hiroyuki Sonata. He's phenomenal, just like you expect. His fight scenes, mwah. Then you have Rina Sawayama as Akira. She's great here too. I mean, wow, her action scenes were really impressive. And then our returning characters, as you know, Lawrence Fishburne, fantastic. Ian McShane, great, just like he is in all the other John Wick films. But not only that, Lance Riddick, may he rest in peace. He's great here too. This whole cast came to work in this film. And I got to give it up to the number one guy, Keanu Reeves, as John Wick. This man is almost 60 years old doing these action scenes, doing his own stunts throughout this John Wick franchise and in this fourth film. He's at his best. Overall, guys, this is a fitting end to this franchise. If they want to end it here, I'm totally cool with it. If they want to make another John Wick Chapter 5, I can totally see that happening. But they want to stop here on John Wick Chapter 4. This is a great ending. John Wick Chapter 4 gets a 5 out of 5 stars. 
out of 10, it gets a 10. I will gladly go watch it again. I think I will watch it again, but I'm telling you this right now. Go reel in John Wick Chapter 4 and have yourself a blast. Do not wait for this on streaming. Don't wait to see it on your couch. Go buy a ticket and go sit your ass in a seat and go enjoy cinema because that is what this movie is. Hats off to this director, hats off to the producers, the screenwriters, everybody working on this film, the cast, Keanu Reeves, the man himself, the legend, the Baba Yaga. And not only that, the people that put their bodies on the line to make these stunts, the action look so real. And I think the Academy needs to take note of that when it comes to John Wick Chapter 4. This is my favorite John Wick film out of the franchise. It goes John Wick Chapter 4, and then it goes John Wick, and then John Wick Chapter 3, and then John Wick Chapter 2. I enjoy all those movies. I mean, I see those movies as goaded, phenomenal from start to finish. Last but not least, there's an end credit scene. Stay to the very end of this movie to watch it. I enjoyed it, my theater enjoyed it. I can't wait to see what they come up with, but I can tell you this, I will for sure be reeling in whatever they want to do with John Wick or these cast of characters after this film. Go see John Wick Chapter 4. If you've already seen it, make sure you guys sound off in the comments down below. I want to hear you guys' thoughts, opinions, what you like, what you didn't like, what you are expecting to see with this franchise moving forward. Sound off in the comments down below. Like this video, hit that subscribe button. Plenty more reactions are on the way. Plenty more really and reviews are on the way too as well. I'll catch you guys in the next reaction or review that hits this channel here at Really In Reactions. I'm Really Miles. I'll catch you guys next time.